Welcome back to Triple R. Let's look at one of the greatest football games ever made, the NES version of Tecmo Bowl. It was released in 1989, and to me, has always been the best in the series, and probably always will be. Tecmo Bowl was originally a four-player arcade game with made-up teams. It was a lot of fun to play, but the NES version, however, had real teams with real players. And the, at the time in the NFL, it was a time of superstars like Bo Jackson, Walter Payton, Herschel Walker, Dan Marino, and many others. Now, I myself have never been a big football fan, but I didn't need to be to have a lot of fun playing this game. So I knew of these guys, I know of football, just was never a big sports fan, but Tecmo Bowl was a lot of fun. So let's talk about the presentation of Tecmo Bowl. You had 12 teams to choose from, six from the AFC, six from the NFC, and one of those teams were the LA Raiders, who had Bo Jackson on the roster, and some would say he was an OP character in the game, and that is probably true. <laughs> Each team had their own superstars, like I said, Walter Payton, uh, the people beforehand that I mentioned. But the presentation was cool. You had your teams. The title screen drops in with a big Tecmo Bowl. We have a, a celebration screen. When you score a touchdown, you give a high five to a player. The name of your player will scroll across the top of the screen really, really big, easy to see. So it's, it's a cool effect. Uh, they also did a halftime show, which was nice. Some stills, but the art's pretty good, especially for the time, being such big art. It really, it really helped the game feel fleshed out. Now for gameplay, Tecmo Bowl still shines. It's easy, it's fun, simple gameplay. Each team has two run plays, two pass plays, except for Miami, we have three pass plays and one run play. So you'll choose your play, if you're playing somebody, it will try to match your play. AI does as well. If they match it, they pretty much sack you or get an interception very quickly. So it's like a one in four chance. So back in the day, you would hide your controller from your, your friend. Make sure they weren't looking at what you picked. Um, pretty easy to do. Still a lot of fun with a one in four chance. It made it so anyone could play the game. And I think that's a very good thing, especially at that time. Like now, I don't want to go through a bunch of Madden playbooks with X's and O's, and I'm, you know, I could care less. But I want to pick up, like, hey, we'll play this football game. It'll be probably 15 minutes max from start to finish, and it'll be a lot of fun the whole time. Very quick. You're right back in the action with the big character sprites. Everything looks great. Uh, everything feels good. You can dive tackle on defense. AI does let you uh, catch up, so there's no super runaway plays, like no matter what. But a lot of the times, they will get breakaways, like touchdowns and long passes, which gives it the arcade feel that I prefer in games. So I'm not a big simulation game fan. So the arcade feel of this, I really do like, I really enjoy. So I, I enjoy playing this game today. It's still fun. Uh, making 80 yard passes, you know, returns for 100 yards. So all those things are possible more often than not. So if you want a good arcade experience, NES Tech Mobile is where it's at. I give it a 9 out of 10. Check it out. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.